Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be from empathy to empowerment. Think about that for a minute. If you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So, you were in a narcissistic relationship, perhaps you're still in one, and most likely you have a higher degree of empathy than most people on the planet. Perhaps you even call yourself an empath, and if this is you, I would watch this full video. Point being that you are someone who concerns yourself with the betterment and or well-being of other individuals. Many times you place other individuals before you place yourself. In other words, you accommodate other people to the detriment of yourself. Perhaps you were and or are a people pleaser, a yes person. You didn't how to say, you didn't know how to say the strongest word in the English language, which is no. And remember, when you say no to something, you're saying yes to yourself. But this is all part of you, what makes you you. And perhaps you are an empath, and if you are, God bless you, you're an amazing human being. We are all equal on the planet, everybody, whether you are an empath or not. However, the narcissist saw this level of empathy that you had and or still have within you, and they weaponized it against you for a length of time, which was the period of the relationship of the narcissistic cycle of the relationship. They knew you better than you knew yourself. And I'll tell you why. Because when you first meet the narcissist, bear in mind, they know what they are about to do to you. Their job, their goal, their mission, their purpose is to take, take, and take. And when they're done, what do they want to do? That's right, they wanna take more. You, as a beautiful, bright, shining light, as an empath, you don't know what it's like to take. You know what it's like to contribute, to build, to nurture, to grow, to heal, to help to see people succeed. That's what an empath does. An empath is the ultimate team player. And this many times can be to the detriment of the empath. Now, if you've gone through the narcissistic abusive cycle, I know for a fact your empathy has not changed. As a matter of fact, it's probably grown stronger. However, you certainly now have boundaries and you do know what is right from wrong. In other words, you know now that you can't place other people in front of yourself. You've now understood that you come first, second, and third. Yes, you can still help people out. Yes, you can still contribute to the planet, and I'm certain you do. However, you don't just drop what you're doing at the moment's notice of a hat and just come to save everybody. Remember, you can't save everybody. And this is, as the thumbnail mentions, from empathy to empowerment to empowered. What that means is you have come through the narcissistic abusive cycle. You've endured the toxic relationship or perhaps relationships. And after many, many periods of time in the relationship, you finally got the message, which is, yes, I'm an empath. Yes, I'm beautiful. Yes, I have, I have a lot of abundance. And yes, I have a lot of energy. And yes, I want to contribute to the betterment of this planet and those loved and trusted ones around me. However, now I am empowered. I am empowered with the knowledge, with the education, with wisdom, with experience. I now can see what the narcissist saw in me when I met them which means, yes, I'm still a kind, loving, beautiful, healthy individual. That's what I am, that's what you are. But you now understand that you need to have boundaries. You need to put yourself first, second, and third. And I don't say that lightly, because what you've experienced most likely throughout the duration of your relationship up until you met the narcissist is an abundant life. But people counted on you to be there for them. People counted on you to loan them money. People counted on you to give them the ride to the airport. People counted on you to clean up after their mess, meaning perhaps pick up their mail when they were away on vacation or to loan them the lawnmower and have it not be returned for days, weeks, or months on end or for you to contribute to the betterment of individuals. I'm not saying just the narcissist. I'm saying people on the planet overall. And that's a good thing. However, there comes a point in time in everybody's life at least that's my hope. If you are an empath that you understand that, wait a minute, I am in many relationships, some of which are narcissistic relationships, and these are not reciprocal. They don't benefit me, they never have. Perhaps the people you're thinking about right now are even your siblings, your parents, your neighbors, your friends of 10, 20, or 30 years, coworkers, whomever. Eventually, people show their cards. They show what their true intentions are, and maybe they're altruistic, Maybe they're not. Maybe they're meant to take you down. Maybe they're meant to just extract resources from you. Example, let's say you live in a neighborhood and you have barbecues at your house and people always are invited. It's open door policy because that's the kind of house you have. And if, you, if that's you, beautiful, God bless you. 
And then what happens is next weekend you go to other neighbor's house and it goes on and on and that's your summertime life. Or when I lived in Costa Rica, that's what we do frequently. We'd barbecue at different people's houses and it was different people's turns to do so and that's great. But then there are always those people that just attend the barbecues, they don't have the barbecues. And they consume, they don't contribute. Now I'm not saying that those people, perhaps they didn't have the area to have a barbecue. Perhaps they did. But what they chose to do was show up to eat and drink freely and not contribute. This is what I'm speaking of. Your empathy becomes empowerment when you identify and recognize people who want to be in your corner, who want to be on your side, and who will be there for you in times of abundance as well as times of perhaps concern. Another example, you are ill, you are sick because you were in the narcissistic abusive cycle and the weight of that relationship, it created issues for you, health issues, let's say. Perhaps you had a detached retina or multiple knee surgeries as an example. Who was there to actually be there for you, to visit you, to comfort you, to check in on you? Were there many people there? Who knows? But when you understand that when the chips are down, what you do is of the utmost importance and your empathy will be played upon. And believe me when I say it, it will be played upon until you get empowered and you get the message that not everybody on the planet deserves your empathy. And just because you are an empathetic human being, it doesn't mean it's an open house on your empathy. Because as an empath, you also get drained. You also need to recharge your battery. That's why many times empaths don't like crowded environments. They like to be more one-on-one -on -one with people and have intelligent, uplifting communication with people. And guess what? The narcissist gobbles that up. Why? Because you, as an empath, you could be a sounding board and be consuming their false rhetoric. And that's exactly what happens. And slowly and insidiously, these relationships with the empath and the narcissist, they chip away at the empath for many reasons, but a few right here, because the empath is always giving, contributing, trying to work for the relationship. The narcissist is consuming and taking and trying to destroy the relationship. That is what it is in a nutshell. It's not until you get the wisdom on channels like mine and many others, and again, thank you very much for being here, that you understand your empathy is a superpower. And yes, in fact, the narcissist did take it from you for a period of time. They did, and they had you fooled and manipulated, most likely because they wore the mask and they tricked you and trapped you and duped you. And they portrayed themselves to be one person when in fact they were somebody exactly the opposite. They just wanted your resources from you. And then you got the wisdom, perhaps you were discarded or you removed yourself from the relationship. And you said, wait a minute, I contributed so much to that relationship. What did this person who turned out to be a narcissist, what did they contribute? Hmm, not much, right? Exactly, that's because every narcissistic relationship is a competition, it's a battle who will get more. The thing is, you as an empath, you didn't know you were in a competition. You thought you were in a healthy, long-term, stable relationship with somebody. The whole time they were trying to tear you down. And again, for a period of time they did until you rose up through the ashes like a phoenix and you now engage in yourself and you process the relationship. You understand that empathy now is a superpower and you've become empowered. This is the last thing the narcissist wants. They don't want an empowered empath. They don't want an empowered individual, first of all. But if you couple that with your empathy, you now see that you have a superpower. Because number one, you've gone through the narcissistic abuse cycle and you have made it. Two, you have the wisdom, the education, and the experience. Three, you're an empath. That will never change. You can't change your empathy if you tried. You can't go to the dark side. It's not in your DNA. You're just not built that way. I know for a fact you're not. But most importantly, you're now empowered. You now have something that the narcissist never wanted you to have, which is the education on the cycle. And if you couple all these things together, it is a perfect recipe for your future to place boundaries in place, to understand you are the priority. And from empathy to empowerment, it's a huge thing. Not everybody will get there to the empowerment stage. Many people will stay trapped in the narcissistic fog. Many people stay pawns and puppets to the narcissist. Many people never get the wisdom. Many people don't find channels like mine and many others. Many people don't have the craving for the wisdom. Many people don't take action. Many people believe that there's nothing better out there for them. Many people, like yourself, actually find out what's going on. They invest in themselves. They watch videos, they journal, they talk to a therapist. They consume content, they read, and they understand, wait a minute, this is not what life's about. My life is not supposed to be about placing somebody else high on a pedestal or being their errand boy or their pool boy or vacation planner or someone who just keeps them occupied. My job on the planet is to empower myself and to live my best life. 
And that is something the narcissist never wants you to figure out. They don't. They want you stuck in the narcissistic fog where you are just yearning for them, spinning around on a hamster wheel, trying to please them to the detriment of yourself. So from empathy to empowerment, what that means, before I close the video, it means you, I'm certain you still have your empathy. You don't lose that. You can't lose that. Once you have it, it's a gift. And that gift needs to be shared with those who benefit you and with those who you want to help out. However, it shouldn't be shared with anyone to build them up to the detriment of yourself. Also, empowerment, that's a huge thing. Many people may say, oh, I'm empowered. But are you really? Did you go through the narcissistic abusive cycle? Did you face childhood demons and or heal childhood wounds? Did you actually have to understand and be authentic with yourself that this relationship was not what you thought it was? Did you have to practice radical acceptance? Did you have to actually understand the glossary, the definitions and the terms on the narcissistic abusive cycle? Did you have to spend countless sleepless nights by yourself? Did you have to cry endless tears, pace around, lose weight? Did you have to fight for your identity, for the strength to get out and buy bottle of water in the store if you if you did you know what i'm talking about and you've gone through the fire so guys that's the video i hope you liked it i loved doing it from the beautiful sunny carolinas this is andrew namaste have a great afternoon evening or morning wherever you are on the planet and remember from empathy to empowerment your empathy won't go away it can't it's a gift and if you are one of the rare people that considers yourself an empath drop comments below you're a rare breed a special breed you are unique, beautiful, and abundant, and that most likely is what the narcissist went after, your abundance, your beauty. They can't have it any longer because my hope is you've gone no contact, blocked them, deleted all flying monkeys and people associated with the narcissist, and you're living your best life or you're well on the healing path. And empowerment, that is something that you can say. People say it frequently, I'm, I'm empowered, but really ask yourself, are you? Could you be more empowered? If you've risen through the fire, like the phoenix coming through the ashes, and you've made it this far, I can assure you you're empowered. You may not even know it. But remember, keep your boundaries in place. Learn how to say no. Invest in yourself and spend your time wisely. Wherever you are on the planet, I love you. God bless you. Have a great afternoon, evening, or morning, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye, you guys.